Good morning, everybody. It is August 31st. Um, all my stuff's back home. So all my stuff is here at my parents' house. I'm here at my parents' house. Um, I'm officially moved out. And I don't know. It's just an unreal feeling, I guess. You know, like when you have a routine with somebody for a while and you're used to waking up next to that person every single day and you're used to being like oh good morning and the good morning kiss like you follow this into this routine and then the moment it's just gone it's like it's like I don't know I have to make up another routine and it it sucks I don't know what to do when I wake up like you know what I mean like other than just get up and start working or start filming but it's like it's not the same. It is not the same. So, um, yesterday I didn't do a five minute video. I was just, I was going through a lot. Um, we had to move all my stuff out and I had to go over there and I went into the house and everything was already rearranged and it, like, it was just heartbreaking. Like, it just looked like I never even lived there, you know? And that broke my heart. It broke my heart. I like I couldn't help but just to like look around and it just everything just looks so different. But um my dad and all my brothers went with me to go help me move and I I'm just so thankful for them. I I love them to the moon and back. They didn't have to do that, but they went and did it with me, you know. They're amazing. But yeah, so now I'm back home and I gotta, I gotta start all over. I gotta get a game plan going. I gotta, I gotta find a job. I gotta, you know, if I want to move out, where am I gonna move out to? You know, stuff like that. And it's just, it's scary. And I miss Alan. I do. I loved him to death. Oh, God, never loved anybody like I loved Alan. And I still do love him. It just sucks. Heartbreak sucks. Breakups suck. <sighs> so. So yeah, I'm just going through the through the motions now and trying to get myself back up on my feet. Because that's all I can do. That is all I can do. Um but all my friends and all my family have just been so supportive of me and so loving. And I'm just thankful to have them in my life. <sighs> and it just, oh, it's just so weird not talking to him, though. I talk to him every single day. You know, all of a sudden it stops. It's like Katy Perry's new song. We went from strangers to lovers to strangers in a lifetime. That's so stupid. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, that makes me sad. That makes my heart sad. I hope he's doing well, though. I hope. You know. And I feel like now more than ever, I'm getting into that, like, angry phase of, like, heartbreak, you know? Like, first it's sadness and you cry and you, like, think the world's ending. And then after that, you just get angry. And you're like, dude, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, and then you're like, I'm amazing. What the fuck? Like, this is so stupid. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing really I can say other than, like, I don't agree with that it. it's stupid. But that doesn't change anything. Uh, I know I'm going to be okay. And I know I'm going to be successful. But I just, I wanted to be successful with him by my side, you know? I wanted us to be successful together. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. <sighs> On the plus side, I might have a new job soon. I'm not sure yet. I have options, so we'll see how that works out. And I might start driving for DoorDash. Um, and I'm keeping on keeping on it with my YouTube. So at least those are positives. Mm. But have a good day, everybody. We will get through this. You will get through this. And everything will be okay.